What's up, everybody? This is Jake Knopke with Jake Knopke Art, and this is a, another tutorial on how I create a base layer for an abstract painting. Um, I hope it gives it some inspiration for ideas and techniques and tools that you may want to experiment with. Right now I'm using a palette knife and just some blue acrylic paint. As you can see, I do all sorts of scraping and layering, keeping it thicker and thinner in certain areas to add some dynamic and dimension and depth. Spraying with a water bottle there. Just water is the only solution there. And it also creates some unique designs and shapes. You get you get drips and lighter colors, just diluted paint. That is kind of hard to see, but I was using a little piece of charcoal just to draw some more shapes and get some contrast and some interest there. Lots of these early markings do not show up in the final piece, at least not in a pronounced way. And some of them not at all. This is just a copper metallic spray paint. Same thing here. You can obviously create different dynamics with the spray paint itself by holding it in one area. You get the drips and the heavy, thick marks, whereas when you hold it back, you obviously get, get lighter, more spread out spray. And then I went back over that with that charcoal um, stick that I use a lot in the early layers. And those markings are just intuitive. I just kind of let my subconscious take over and make whatever mark I feel like doing intuitively. And this is just a giant scraping tool I got at Home Depot. With that copper spray paint that I was using in particular, um, when you scrape it, you really get some deep marks, some unique marks. So I love I love scraping that. You, you scrape off some of the metallic sheen, so it'll it'll add various different uh, contrasts. Looks like I'm coming back in with a palette knife. Dividing up the painting a little bit, almost like adding a, a horizon there. I love layering the acrylic on top of the metallic spray paint. When you go back and start scraping the paint, you'll expose some of the metallic from below, like I'm doing there. It adds some really interesting 
uh, textures and colors, and shapes. So for this painting, I pick my colors kind of intuitively based on whatever jumps out at me. It's quite often blue. I, I definitely like different shades of blue. I find them to be very uh, tranquil and calming. And then the copper spray paint is obviously the contrast here at this point. So this is further scraping and adding color at the same time. And I remember to work on those edges as well. Definitely gives the painting a complete look when you work around the edges. Especially if the consumer is not going to frame the piece. Okay, so this is a little bit later. I've obviously let this dry a bit and come back to it. Acrylic paint will dry pretty quick, so that could have just been 20 to 30 minutes. It's something you gotta experiment with, but acrylic has various levels of workability depending on how long you let it dry. If you let it dry longer, obviously it gets really hard and impossible to uh, manipulate any further. But if you only let it dry for 20 to 30 minutes, you can actually still still blend it out and um, scrape through it. So that's kind of something you, you gain with experience. You can see the charcoal markings there. They've obviously gotten a lot um, further into the background. As you blend over the top of them. And I don't use any fixative at this stage, so Painting over those charcoal markings will actually um, kind of spread the charcoal itself, and get it get it mixed in with the, the pigment of the acrylic paint, which adds for some more warmer tones. So that's basically all I'm doing here is just just blending. It's almost like putting a wash over the entire painting, just making it completely cohesive, except for that top little area there where I'm just now starting to work. Every, everything else is, is pretty cohesive at this point. Spray paint dries way quicker this, this spray paint that i'm using here does anyway so if you want to distress it or uh, alter it in any way you gotta work really quick with it 
So there I am dragging some of that copper color down. But you can see it, it didn't change a lot because it dried so quick. Now I'm pushing a little, pressing a little harder, which is definitely removing some of that spray paint and um, spreading it around a little bit more. in with some more blue to blend into the other acrylic paint layer that I have there. This helps create a single layer where everything is married and living happily together. I'm working pretty dry right now. If you were to add water at this point, it would make everything run. So that Looks like it completes this base layer for me on this one. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to um, leave a comment in the area below here on YouTube. Also, I can always be reached on Instagram. Um, I have an Instagram account, Jake underscore Nopke underscore art, where I'm happy to answer questions for other artists or, or any questions at all about tools or techniques. So thanks for watching and um, until next time.